Well, 16 weeks ago, nobody knew what this season of football would look like. Would it get canceled or would teams have to forfeit in a year when the Bills are actually good? Now, week 16 is here and the Bills have done something they haven't done in 25 years. They've taken home the AFC East crown. Yeah, and as they finish out the regular season and prep for the playoffs, they're not only fighting to finish strong, hopefully get a couple of home games in the playoffs, they're also fighting to get fans back in the stands. And joining us live to talk about that, because the governor made a big announcement today, is Buffalo Bills beat reporter Vic Carucci and a columnist for the Buffalo News. Uh, been covering this team for a long time. Vic, it's always great to get your expertise. Bill Stadium has not had any fans at any point so far in this season. We're hearing now that that could change. This is something that the state is studying. The logistics of it are mind numbing. Um, but what are you hearing and what what chance do you think there actually is that by the time we hit that playoff game that we'll have fans in the stands? Well, I, I think there's a reasonable chance because it seems like both the state government and the bills are working towards something. Now, uh, look, from the state's end, it's pretty good political capital. I think the, the governor liked feeling like he was giving uh, the fan base here, or the population here, a little bit of a, a, a holiday gift. Uh, from the bill's standpoint, it's also a PR play to a large extent, symbolic. Because 6,700 fans, let's think about that stadium. Let's think about 70,000 plus that seats that it capacity that it has. That's putting a thimble of water next to Lake Erie, okay, as far as what that actually fills. And, and who you're putting in those seats is also going to be very, very interesting uh, because I think for a lot of fans, it feels like I got a chance to go to a game. Well, you might have a better chance of winning the lottery. I, I don't know. <laughs> Well, Josh Allen was asked about it today, uh, and this is his reaction when asked if that's actually what he wants. I hope that we can. Um, obviously, that'd be a huge um, one inspiration for us to have fans back in the stadium, and we know how much it would mean to, you know, those 6,700 fans that are there. Um, you know, obviously, we wish we had Bills Moffitt in the stands, and this is the year that, you know, we, we would really use them. And, uh, and I know they're chomp chomping at the bit to get back in there, so – Whatever it needs to get done to get done, um, I know Bill's Mafia would be willing to do it in order to get in the stadium. So, um, you know, fingers are crossed for that one. So that's Josh. What about the rest of the players and the coaches? Have you heard their reaction to any of this? I mean, their general sense is they would love their fans to be there. They love engaging with the fans. The, the problem, though, I mean, it's a great thing to say, and it's what they should say. And I'm not doubting their sincerity, but again, Let's look at the reality here. 6,700 people won't feel like a crowd. It, it just won't in that place. And it will, it, when, you, when you really think about it, Ohio, for instance, has tried this with both, or has done this with both the Browns and the Bengals. Monday Night Football, there were about 12,000, I think, so fans in, uh, at uh, the Bengals game playing against the Steelers. And it was a cavernous feeling. It was an empty place. But that's Cincinnati. That's a really been a really bad football team. And a lot of the people have been avoiding going to their games. This is different here. I mean, this is this is like you open the gates and the people would love to be flooding in to Bill Stadium right now. And they can't do that. So I'm not sure what the experience is. I'm, I'm really lost on the uh, logistics because they're talking about testing for everybody to go in. Last I checked, those tests aren't free, right? I, mean, I think there's a cost in the neighborhood of about 85 bucks a test. That I've heard that thrown around. And then the contact tracing after the fact, which, how does that work? Cost involved with that. And, and then I hear about this being referenced as some level of experiment. Um, okay, so I, I'm sure you'll get people, because they're Bill's fanatics, who want to be part of an experiment. But you're going to be basically a lab rat for the sake of other events, if, if I heard all this right from the state. Yeah, I got a rapid test this week, 65 bucks. So maybe they would get okay. a little bit of a discount. Um, so maybe a little bit less than that. But uh, a lot of people hoping they can work it out. The symbolism is what you talk about, Vic, because obviously you're not going to get much of a home field advantage with so few fans in the stands. We'll have to leave it there. But uh, great to get your perspective, Vic Carucci, with the Buffalo News. Uh, Merry Christmas, Vic, and great to see you. Same to both of you and everyone. Yes. Thank you, Vic. And thanks, everybody, for watching. As always, remember, you can keep texting us your questions and your comments to 716-849-2200.